Hey guys, um, so it's morning here, um, though not early morning, it's 10 o'clock, but I did get up at 9 o'clock today, so that's another half hour um, earlier than I have been getting up, and I popped right out of bed, and the energy is really coming to me, so that's really exciting that I'm not being a slug all day. And it is nasty snowing outside, it's disgusting, I hate it, um, I have to go out in this in a little bit, and not excited about it. I mean... You can't even see anything. Like, we have a mountain in our backyard, and, it, it, like, it's completely gone. <laughs> it's gross. Anyway, so today I thought I would do a little chat um, video because I haven't put something up in a while. And um, I just wanted to talk again a little bit about why I've chosen to continue eating vegan and um, a mostly plant-based diet, and there's, like, some grains and things in there. But first of all, I want to talk about one, I mean, first, Richie, my husband, presented this to me as a challenge before Christmas, and he's like, you know what, you should try to do vegan for a month. And I was like, no, no, I couldn't do that. I'm like, I love cheese too much. You know, maybe for a month I could give up, like, meat and whatever, but oh my god, I couldn't give up cheese. I put cheese on everything. And so... Anyway, so I ate vegan for a month, and I it was like a whole new world. I, w I had energy. Like, I've, I've never really been a caffeine drinker. I've, I've never liked coffee. I don't really drink soda. Every once in a while, I'll have a tea, but, I mean, that's not enough to really boost you into a full day of doing things. So I was a slug. Like, all day, it would take me, I would wake up at, what, maybe 11.30 in the morning, and it would literally take me to wake fully up until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was really, it was really no way to live. And so when I started eating vegan, it all, it all turned around. I, I had energy, like my headaches would go away, and I was in a better mood. Richie was like, you're in a good mood today. I'm like, well, I ate healthy today. And so it's, I mean, it was just a whole new world. And then I I uh, had Christmas holiday, and uh, so we had fish and chips and uh, Christmas roast and all these wonderful foods, and I just, I physically felt miserable the whole time. It was just like, I was, I was bloated and full, and not like a good full, like, mm, I'm full, but oh god, I'm full. And I had, like, I've always had problems with acid reflux and heartburn and all this stuff and, like, so bad that it, like, scarred my esophagus and that, I mean, it just reared full force during those two weeks. And then I, and then I just decided, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go back to eating vegan because I just feel so much better. I'm like, why shouldn't I feel, feel good every day? Because I want to eat a burger or two, or I want some ice cream. There, I mean, there are vegan options for all of those things. So, is it really worth it to me just to be miserable and sluggish and in in just uncomfortable all day every day? And I've just decided that it's not. It's not worth it. And so, um, yes, a perk of eating vegan is is losing weight and being fit. But the big part of it for me is that I just feel better. I feel healthier. I feel lighter. I feel energetic. And 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 although my body still hurts, like my I still have back pain and my hips are still really tight and out of place and and I still get tension in my neck and all of these things, but as my body reverts back to its natural form, those things will go away. Those things, those, what makes my back hurt, which is probably a lot of the weight that I'm carrying, when that weight is gone, when that fat is gone, that will go away. And along with my hips. And it won't hurt to walk or run or ride my bike or whatever the case may be. And so that's the big motivation for me is that I just feel so much better. And I'm putting the right things in my body and it, it, I'm, I'm just all around healthier for it.
and that's the important part for me is is just being healthier and I think you know I talked to my sister recently because she's within the past year and a half lost so much weight she's lost almost a hundred pounds it's I'm so proud of her it's amazing and she's always kind of struggled with her weight since she was uh, about in high school um, just after and I I said to her this time, I was like, you know, you've tried diets before. I mean, what really clicked for this amazing transformation? And she was, she was like, um, well, and at first she was like, you know, I don't really know. And then she's like, well, you know, I had to do it for me and not for anybody else. It had to be a decision for me. And also, I, I can't explain it. Something just clicked for me this time. Some, it was just like, aha and I was like okay and so um but it's she's so incredible I'm so in, incredibly proud of her and so I, I after that I thought to myself well I've never really had the aha moment because I've always been kind of I've always been kind of okay with my body like I'm not huge and I'm not like really tiny and I have curves and you know, what what people would say, a quote-unquote, womanly body. But what the, I think because of that, I've always been kind of idle with my body. And I think the click moment for me has been, and the aha moment for me is that it's not about looks. It's about how you feel. And it's about how healthy you are and the pain you feel. It's not about looks, it's about being healthy. And I was not healthy. I was not healthy. I may not have been as big as a house, but I was not healthy. And that is what I'm, I'm wanting to change. That is, has that is been the big motivating factor for me to be, to be eating like this. You know, if eating a burger and fries and a milkshake gives you heartburn and burns, and makes you feel gross, don't eat it. <laughs> and I used to think, oh, a burger is a treat, a burger is a treat, and my mindset has completely changed, and I'm like, you know, a treat is something that you feel good after. And although when you're eating a burger most of the times it's really good at the moment, and then afterward you're like, why did I do that? That is not even worth what I'm feeling right now. And so... Now I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to put stuff in my body that makes me feel bad. It's not a treat if it makes you feel bad. So that was, that was kind of the aha moment for me is that it's not about looks. It's not, it's not, and for me, it's not because I want to justify the way I look. Because a, a lot of media out there of really, really big people, it's like, well, it's not about looks. I'm beautiful the way I am. That's not what it is about me, and I, I believe everybody's beautiful. And, but what it is for me is that I'm not healthy. It's not healthy to, to be that way. And it cannot, it cannot be the design of a human being to work inefficiently. You should not have to take a bucket full of pills. You should not have to you know, you should not have back pain. When you walk, your legs should not rub together. God did not create human beings and say, your legs will rub together, your legs will rub together, your legs will rub together, but you, you won't ever have to have that problem. You'll be good to go for the rest of your life. No, that's not the way it worked out. We have done this to ourselves. God did not create us this way. We have done this to ourselves. So let's, I'm, I, that's, I want to fix it. I don't want to have my legs rubbed together every time I walk. I don't want, I want to be able to wear a bikini on the beach. And this is, this is like the time for me to do this. And I can't because I've abused my body. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's kind of a long video. And uh, I just had to get that off my chest. And, and hopefully maybe th this will be a click moment or an aha moment for somebody else. And, and Again, it's not about how you, how you look. Everyone's beautiful. It's about how you feel and how healthy you are. That is the most important part. The looks will be a byproduct of being healthy. 
So um, anyway, I hope you enjoy and cheers. I'm gonna finish my smoothie now. <laughs>